it's the season the time to be doing those school rounds time to f- fill those uh, school application forms it is that time to find the dream school for your child make sure that you watch this full video before you go ahead and narrow down on your child's dream school i am going to tell you about various factors which will help you narrow down to your child's dream school to begin with what have you heard about the school what's the reputation preceding the school you're looking at your child yeah talk to fellow parents talk to parents whose children are already going to that school get their feedback what do they have to say you may also want to look at and evaluate the infrastructure at the school what is the play infrastructure what is the study infrastructure what are the clubs various extra curricks going on in the school another important factor is the quality of teachers in the school are they bas are are they going through teacher training programs do they have a teacher training uh, calendar in place those are things to look at also while you look at that look at the teacher student ratio is it 1 is to 20 is it 1 is to 60 because the two are very very different anything between 1 is to 20 to 1 is to 35 is okay anything more than 1 is to you know 40 or more than 35 not okay look at the attendance the support staff because they make a big difference in the school do they have a training program a training calendar for their support staff how do they pick their support staff look at transportation do they have their own transportation or has the school outsourced the transportation look at safety in the school are there dark alleys in the school does the school have a uh, closed circuit cameras everywhere does the school have a clear policy on who can walk in and how do they check everyone at the gate or is it like easy breezy for anyone to come in and get out of the school next comes the curriculum which the school follows what is the approach and the teaching methodology which the school follows you would need to have an interaction with someone at the school to understand also depends on you know when are you starting with the school is it the beginning of the year mid year in case you are starting you had a transfer to another city and you starting after the curriculum has already been sort of in place in the mid of the year then you also need to understand the bridge program do they have a bridge program right so so this is very important also while you choosing a school you would look at various education boards is it cbse icse igcse ib or a state board school so you would need to evaluate those choices as well and you can watch another video where i have actually detailed out the differences between these education boards then of course comes in the fee level and how is the school sort of asking you to pay these fee right so you may want to factor in all kinds of cost and here again talking to you know parents whose children are already going would help you find out exact cost like there can be some hidden cost through the year uh, you know like uh, you know uh, visits outside the school an experiential trip somewhere you know so you want to factor all of that in so that you can plan your finances better in case you would prefer an emi option you may want to check with the school beforehand whether they have something like that and what is their policy in terms of taking advance fee and paying later right so so that covers your financial aspect now comes in something which i believe is very important while you choose a school does the school let you come and visit before your child has started going to school what it means here is are they open for school visits and you will find there are both you know thoughts uh, right now going on which is some schools would not let you visit the school and some would let you visit the school after the school hours so so make sure that you know you you look at that as well and while you look at all these factors remember 
the most important thing to keep in mind is what is your child's interest areas right if your child is more inclined toward towards extracurriculars and you choose a school which doesn't have a strong infrastructure for for extracurriculars for sports then it's it's a bad choice right and similarly if your child is more keen on core subjects like math and others and is more academically inclined then you may want to choose a school which has a very strong curriculum in place so go ahead make that choice and then fill those school forms for more such videos you can follow me on instagram